Hi, welcome to my channel, Ellen's DIYs, where I like to do everything on a budget. I've done a piece of everything over the years. DIYs, making over furniture, decorating, anything I can get my hands on. So, if you like this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's get on with this project. Hope you enjoy. I'm going to show you how I made this cushion. Just out of two dish towels. Um, these towels came for the range and it was a pack of three. You got a one with the reindeer on it, um, one with a white one with snowflakes, and you also got a red one with snowflakes. It was three ninety nine for the both of them. Uh, three ninety nine for the three of them. Sorry. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the dish towels right side in so your pattern will be on the inside. Um going to look for your corners to be together. These dish towels are not quite the same size so I kind of move it so that I make them the same size. And this is just a straight stitch. I'm using my sewing machine. Um, I'm sure it would work as well with fabric glue but I cannot find mine. I don't know what I've done with it or I would test it. And really, I'm just going to do a straight stitch down three sides of it. With this stitch, you want to go all the way to the top and remember to back stitch. This actually took me less than 10 minutes to make. Now the next step, the very corners that are sewed together, I'm going to just cut the bulk off of the corners and then I'm going to go and iron it, turn it out the right way and iron it flat. Maybe get a decent pair of scissors as well. Make sure you don't cut your, your corner seam. I've turned it in the proper way and I've ironed it. And what I've also done is I folded in where I think I want my pattern to finish at the top. So I folded in maybe three inches, three and a bit inches and tucked them down. Because the way I like to finish it is I like to have this edge going all the way around the whole pillow. So that um, you can actually, you get that wee pattern all the way around instead of just one place like that. So before I stuff it, I will just go around the whole cushion, probably half an inch or so. Now you can put a piece of tape on your sewing machine and that will save, help you keep your guide. I'm sewing that bit inside down as well. This makes it so much easier when you go to close your cushion. When you get to your corner, keep your needle down in the material, lift your foot and then turn your Think, and that way you don't need to snap your thread or anything. I've got these wee tiny cushions. I don't have cushions that would fit the shape of this, so I'm just going to stuff them with the inside of these. My friend gave me these and I've just not used them yet. So I'm just going to stuff them in. I 
that one took about one and a half, just a wee bit more than one and a half, so. My kitten has managed to knock my sewing box everywhere. The joys of having kittens. Because you sewed these bits down, you've got a line, the seam, so you want these two to join, and then you sew right along that. I just use some wee pegs to keep these bits closed while I'm working on a, the next bit, the first bit. Just makes it so a wee bit easier, and I've pushed the stuffing down, but you can just move it around once you get it in. Get it closed off. I'll just start here where I've stopped from the last time. Just clear up all your threads. Once you've checked and got all your threads off, you just need to give it a wee shake and get your form. cushion 10 minutes so I've got a pier put on my daughter's bed hope you enjoyed these DIYs if you did please share with your friends and family I'll leave a list of what I've used in the description box thanks for watching bye